Hey everyone, all right, so in this video, let's talk about the fun topic of price increases. Yay! <laughs> so, okay, just the other day, Disney hiked up all the prices for all the annual passes and all the tickets. And you know, it, it's funny, every year we kind of go through this and every year the fandom will kind of freak out over it. And you know, I, I've, I've actually like just adapted to it. Okay, I save up. My personal battle plan is I just save up a little bit each month, and then that way when it comes time to renew, I pretty much have the whole amount or close to it, so it kind of softens the blow. I, Disney's an important part of my life, so I make adjustments and plan ahead, okay? And I understand not everyone has that luxury to do that, to put money aside each month. It's hard for, for people living check to check. I totally understand that. For me personally, though, that's what I do. I just kind of just plan ahead and I just do it that way. Some people can't, unfortunately. But a lot of the fandom, though, look, as Disney fans, we really have to figure out what we want. And what I mean by that is, is do we want, you know, lesser crowds with higher prices or do we want every man, woman and child you know, to be able to afford Disneyland because it's, it's a God-given right. If you want that, then you have to just kind of deal with more people, okay? I, I don't see a solution to this issue. Either we pay more and there's less crowds or we pay less and there's more crowds. That's really the only two options we have. So it's funny because Disney is really damned if they do and damned if they don't because if they don't do anything about it if they don't hike the prices up then the fans complain that Disney's not doing anything about the crowds but if they hike the prices up then it's evil capitalism and Disney is just a money hungry company and they're pricing families out and all yada 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 they really can't win okay so <laughs> that's just my opinion on this. I mean, I, I really think that no matter what way Disney goes, they fall on one side of the trap or the other, okay? Um, I personally, I think for what you get, I, I think that these prices are fair. Um, obviously, I think most of the general public feels they're fair because the, cra the parks are still really crowded. Um, I, one thing though that really does boggle my mind if Disney is concerned about the actual crowds, why do they still have monthly payments? That seems to me like the driving force of the of the huge amount of annual pass holders. If they were to just get rid of the, the uh, of the monthly payments for even like the lower tier passes, like let's say for the deluxe, and, and you know they get rid of the um, they get rid of the the monthly payments, they just get rid of it. And they all in for the signature and the signature plus, you can you can make monthly payments. Even if they just did that, the crowds would go down dramatically. But they don't. That's the funny thing. I really don't understand that. But I mean, that seems to be the, the most easy solution. But uh, but really, like I said before, it really comes down to one or the other. You know, you either gotta pay more to kind of thin the herd, or pay less and deal with the crowds. That's really the only two options that we have right now. So um, that's what they're doing. I think they're kind of really setting the stage. They're paving the way for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening up in about a year. I think the next round of price increases, which would be like February of 2019, I think those price increases are gonna be really brutal. Oh my gosh, really brutal. It, it's gonna be similar to the price increases that Universal did right before Harry Potter, right before Wizarding World opened in Hollywood. They really hiked the prices up right before Harry Potter opened. Disney's gonna get really, really crazy with the prices right before Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Watch, next year it's gonna be really, really bad. But um, that's really the only way they have though to, thin, to, to really manage the crowds. That's it. That's all they have. And a lot of people will make the argument, well, if Disney just expanded or if Disney just had higher capacity attractions, then, then it would that it would be more manageable. Yes and no. I, I think there is truth to that. I do think that if you make attractions with high capacity, you know, people eaters, <laughs> so to speak, um, I, I do think it will help dis you know, kind of disper disperse the crowds a little bit. But when you're dealing with properties like Star Wars, 
okay? I, I really don't know how much of an impact that's even gonna make. I really don't know. I think the only way that you're really gonna get less people in the park is to price them out. I really do. You have to price them out or it's always gonna be nuts. But those are my opinions on it. You know, I have the Signature Plus. Mine went up a hundred bucks. Thankfully, I just renewed about a couple of weeks ago, so I kind of missed this increase. I'll catch the increase next renewal. But, um, you know, it sucks. It's a bummer. You know, none of us like to pay more prices, but higher prices. But at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's the hand that we're dealt. And if Disney is something that's important to you, like it is with me, I just kind of make do. Uh, I'll save up months in advance and I'll just kind of arrange things the way I have to do it to make sure I can afford the passes. But what do you guys think about these annual pass increases? Are you firmly against them? Do you support them? Are you in the middle? What are your thoughts on this? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're on Twitter, follow me at OrangeGrow55 and we'll continue to talk Disney. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.